In this lab, students will analyze the composition of four different colored markers, black, brown, red, and green. Before actually conducting the experiment, we must come up with a detailed procedure describing the exact steps we need to take in order to make a fair comparison. 1. Pour 50 milliliters of water into a beaker. 2. Place a spot of green ink, red ink, black and brown ink about 2 millimeters in diameter on a piece of chromatography paper 1 inch from the bottom. 3. Fold over the paper about 3 centimeters from the top. 4. Rest the pencil across the top of the beaker containing the water and hang the paper on the pencil. 5. Make sure the edge of the paper is in the water, but the spot of ink is above the surface of the water. 6. Wait 5 minutes and observe what happens. The brown ink is composed of several different solutes. You can see purple, yellow, and red being separated on the chromatogram. Like in lab 17.1, you can also see that the green ink is composed of a yellow solute and blue solute. The red and black inks, however, are only composed of one soluble substance. Students must realize that dyes of the same color do not always behave the same way. Here, the red solutes found in the brown marker and red marker seem to have similar solubility rates. However, not all red dyes will dissolve at the exact same speed. Some red dyes, like in a red sharpie, might not move at all. Therefore, we can conclude that different dyes will have different solubility rates, even if they are the same color.